Okay, special considerations you need to know. Um, dissolved oxygen was pretty straightforward, and it had data in every single uh, date. But look at some of these other ones, like pH, turbidity, flow rate. If you are missing data on a date, um, instead of leaving it blank, because look what happens, it breaks your line. Don't leave it blank, just skip that date. Get rid of it all, and what you do is you highlight on the number the entire row, and then if you right-click and choose Delete Row, boom, look what happens. It fixes it for you. It connects the line. So for pH and everybody else who's missing one, do that. Um, but here's some other things you need to know. So that takes care of pH. Uh, since I mentioned turbidity, turbidity, folks, really important for you to know, you're only doing the clear numbers. We don't need to make a graph for the cloudy and the really cloudy because we did that on purpose. That's not the natural state of Chimicum Creek. Chimicum Creek is normally that super clear. So those are the data you want to use. And then when you do your average for 2021, um, as you saw on that year's video, you're going to use the average, which right now it's 18.9. And that's the number that's going to go for this column for turbidity for 2021, okay? And all the other numbers you find on this graph that I showed in the last video. So don't skip around. Watch all these videos to learn how to do it. Okay, so that takes care of turbidity. Um, oh, yeah. So let's see. Temperature, uh, you've got air temperature, which that was good for us to compare, but we're not going to graph air temperature. You're just going to graph water. And since a lot of the world uses Celsius and we use Fahrenheit, let's do both. We really should. Uh, so here's what happens when you try to do both. Okay, so you're going to, if you highlight and copy both, Look what happens. Uh, you come here. Let me move this out of the way. All right. So I'm going to control V to paste. And I've got the data. And if you notice, this is really important to note. When you're copying data, uh, when you click on a cell, this one shows a number. A number. But look at this one. This one's not a number. It's really a formula. So what happens is if you copy a formula and paste it, this formula says, oh, whatever E2 is, oh, look, E2 is 56.4. It's going to subtract 32 and then multiply that by 5 ninths. Uh, that's how you convert Fahrenheit to Celsius. And if I cut and paste, cut and paste. It, it works. Look, it changed it to C2. But that's kind of tricky, so don't do that. Um, because you might mess it up. It's real easy to mess it up. So let's set up your, your, your data table. You've got dates, and you're going to put water temp Fahrenheit, water temp Celsius. Okay, so that's how you're going to set up your table. See, the responding variable now has two columns because you have two sets of data. So if you copy the first one, I'm just going to copy some of it. You're going to copy all of it. You're going to do just like I showed in the first video. You're going to cut and paste, right? Just like that. Okay, let's undo all that. Uh, but when you copy the Celsius data, Watch what happens here when I copy and then paste. It's all negative 17.78 because it's taking a blank cell and converting that to Celsius. So that clearly doesn't work. But there is a way you can do it. Watch this. So I copy, Control-C. 
Now, this is important, and this is for everybody who has formulas, which includes flow rate, too, and conductivity. Uh, we're going to do right-click. Look at this one, paste special, you want to do the first one, paste values only. Look at this, now it matches. So 13.56 is the um, water temp in Celsius for 56.4 in Fahrenheit. Ah, and look, when I click on them, they are numbers. They're no longer formulas. I just pasted the number not the formula. That's what you want to do, folks. So let's watch that again, because this is what a bunch of you are going to do. So I'm going to go for um, flow rate. Flow rate slow. I'm going to copy all that. Control C. And then I'm not going to do Control V. I'm going to do right click, paste special, paste values only. And there you go. And then you want to get rid of these you can just cut and paste, and then move over, Control-X to cut, Control-V to paste, and that way you'll have your data all in one spot. And flow rate, um, just so you know, we're going to have to use the slow because every year we report the uh, gallons per second, which is this right here. And when you go all the way over, you want this number. Uh, we always do it on the widest part of the creek. So we can't report the narrow part because then we'd be comparing narrow to wide. And look at the difference. The wide part of the creek. And, and I need to fix this number because I think it's going to be smaller once we measure. We still have to measure and come up with an area. Uh, so this number, don't use that because it's wrong. This is the right data, and this is the number you want. And then for conductivity, you know, when you look at what number you want, look at all these numbers. Holy moly, what are you going to want to do? Well, first of all, I want you to do two columns. You're going to do micro siemens per centimeter, and I, don't, I also want you to do total dissolved solids in milligrams per liter. And you're going to do what I just showed temperature to do. You're going to Copy and paste these, and then these are formulas. See that? See how they're formulas? You're going to copy and paste special to paste these. Uh, and these are the numbers you want. Don't use these because that was an experiment I did. I noticed early on for conductivity that we were getting above 200. So I was like, should we change that little uh, lever to 0 to 2,000? And I tried it, and lo and behold... We got higher numbers. I'm not sure what that means, but I felt better when later in our testing, uh, look at this, we got numbers below 200. I think we can know for certain that Chimicum Creek is at the high uh, conductivity level for fresh water. Um, so it's got a lot of total dissolved solids in there, maybe salts and stuff like that. But you'll learn about that as you study conductivity. So yeah, oof, I, I did a lot there. If you're confused, if your flow rate, conductivity, pH, water temperature, um, message me. Let's get together and figure it out because you see it's a little more complicated than what I showed for DO. So let's go with that. Watch this video and you should know what you're doing. Good luck.